This morning, the leader of ISIS is dead. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is blowing himself up after being trapped in a U.S. raid. He was the world's most wanted man. As the leader of ISIS, al-Baghdadi was responsible for a reign of terror across Iraq and Syria and copycat attacks across continents. President Trump announcing his death with an address to the nation. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead. President Trump announcing the violent death of the ISIS leader in a U.S. Special Forces-led raid on his hideout in northern Syria. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. The world is now a much safer place. The president called capturing or killing al-Baghdadi the top national security priority of his administration. He said no U.S. personnel were killed in the operation, while a number of al-Baghdadi's fighters died in the battle. President Trump said he watched the raid unfold Saturday from the White House Situation Room, and as the 48-year-old ISIS leader tried to escape, he dragged three of his young children through the compound. He died after running into a dead-end tunnel, whimpering and crying and screaming all the way. He ignited his vest, killing himself and the three children. Administration officials say a combination of visual evidence and DNA tests confirmed al-Baghdadi's identity. The ISIS leader's death comes after the president faced bipartisan criticism for his decision to pull U.S. troops out of Syria. This is a moment where President Trump's worst critic should say, well done, Mr. President. It's great that we've gotten al-Baghdadi and killed him. He's a dangerous man, an evil man. The fight against ISIS has to continue. The president said al-Baghdadi's death demonstrates his commitment to the, quote, enduring and total defeat of ISIS. President Trump says he did not notify some members of Congress ahead of the raid because he was concerned about leaks jeopardizing the mission and the safety of U.S. commandos. The operation was named in honor of one of al-Baghdadi's American victims, Kayla Muller.